Hey guys, NSC85, and what I'm doing today is uh, I'm going to try and support some local business. I'm here with Todd from Strike Hard, and you guys may know him for his uh, chest rigs and things of that nature. Uh, but he's actually come up with something that I think is really neat for the shotgun, and that is what he calls the Ammo Boss, which you can see here. And we're just going to talk with Todd about it, uh, just kind of maybe sip on some coffee and talk about it and see what it's all about. So. Go ahead and tell us about it, Todd. Well, thanks for having me, Nate. I really appreciate you coming out and, and uh, taking a look and showing your people uh, about the Ammo Boss. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I came up with the Ammo Boss because I've been getting a lot of requests over the years uh, for a better way to carry shotgun shells. Uh, people are they're tired of the loops, they're tired of the pouches, uh, they want something quick and easy that they can grab. A, how do you grab a handful of shells quick and easy right. without having you know, a whole support mechanism for it. Uh, yeah, there's pouches out there, but then, you know, some of the nice ones are molly pouches. Well, then you need a molly rig to hold your molly pouch. Yeah. Well, next thing you know, you just want to go out and, you know, bust some pumpkins open and you're wearing a full-on molly chest rig with shotgun <laughs> shells on it. Right. Or, or for the guy that's just going to run out and maybe pop some squirrels or go do a little rabbit hunting, that, that just doesn't make sense. So, um, and that was kind of the oomph behind why I started trying to come up with something different. Right. Now, when did you start developing this? Uh, this came about last fall, which would, would have been the fall of uh, 2013. Yep. yep. And I started developing it, and I went the traditional route. Like, as you can see, you're wearing the chest rig, and that's, that's my craft there is the tactical nylon. And I was I was building it with a uh, elastic. I was trying pouches with uh, tackle nylon and elastic, and trying to basically it was coming up with stuff that other people had already come up with. Right, right. And and I realized that I had to go with a different medium. And um, part of my background is manufacturing. So uh, from if you you know crank the way back machine. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I, I kind of went back to went back to my foundation and realized you know. Uh, tackle and nylon isn't going to do it. What I need to do is do something with polymers in a spring. Right. And in that, with that, I got the idea that you might see in the crowdfunding video one day. I was uh, sewing away on a chest rig and doing some custom work, and the idea the idea came to me. Well, why not just use a magazine like a Pez dispenser? Right. I and, did see that in the in the video. And by the way, guys, all that information uh, for the. Uh, crowdfunding and everything like that is going to be in the description box below, so just hit show more. And it's actually really neat. You have it set up where uh, people can get involved to help you out, and then by doing that, they also can get one of these, or two or three, year, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, crowdfunding is pretty cool because it allows guys like me that are the smaller entrepreneur that need like a, a, an influx of cash to bring something like this onto the market. Yeah. It allows me to go out and, to the people and People can basically, what it comes down to is you pre-buy one, I can pull in the funds, have the device manufactured, and then send them out afterwards. Right. It takes a, it takes a little while. Um, the campaign is going on in June, and I'm expecting to be deli deliver them in October. Okay. So, you know, the thing with somebody that participates in a crowdfunding campaign is you got to have patience. Well, yeah, you got to have patience, but the cool thing is that you're part of a you know, a gun community and you're able to help people. Just like I found out about uh, Strike Hard from Practically Tactical, my buddy Nick uh, over in Wisconsin there, and I happened to look you up and lo and behold, you happen to be in Minnesota, you know, yeah, sure, you betcha. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's when I got in contact with you. So this is this is really cool. By the way, just so you know, um, just right off the bat, this is for storage. This is for easy access to shells. This is for dispensing, like he said, like a, like a Pez dispenser. Uh, but it's not necessarily for like speed loading like you see with some of the three gunners and stuff like that, right? Yeah, I've been getting a little bit of hate from the three gunners. <laughs> so they're, they, they're in love with their caddies and they can have their caddies. They got 10 people making caddies for them. Yeah. This is for the rest of us. Right, this right. is for the other 98% of us that have a shotgun that, that use them for hunting, use them maybe for home defense. Um, I can see law enforcement using this for the guy that's riding around with the shotgun in his car. He could have one of these under the seat. Right. So if uh, he, he has to put a shotgun in action, he can grab a shotgun and pull this out and clip it to his belt. Because that's immediately 8 to 10 rounds, right? Yeah, exactly. So, Todd, to talk a little bit more about the design, too, uh, the ammo boss holds between 8 and 10 rounds. You're shooting for 8, but you're 
probably going to get 10. Yeah. Um, some people may want to know why not more, why not 20, why not 30? If you can explain that a little bit. Sure. When when I first uh, went started designing this, my ideal was to go to like a, a 12 or more. You know, I'd hope to maybe even fit like 16 rounds into some a compact unit. Right. Well, what I found was that uh, that as soon as you start introducing a bunch of rounds in there, you start getting the bend. Like, you know, again, if we look at that, this eight round Sega magazine, you know, within eight rounds, they're already putting a, a mean bend in here. And if you're trying to carry that on a belt or something like that, it becomes pretty unwieldy pretty fast. Plus it's not <clears throat> ambidextrous either. Right, and it's not ambidextrous. What, what, so our, our first iteration was very similar to a, a, a Sega magazine. And what, what we found is that when you start putting the rounds in, like that is that if if I wanted to that's great for me being a left-hander I can peel the rounds out but now I want to wear it on my right side well that's that's not very good I need it to be ambidextrous so to make it ambidextrous well he, this one was was again designed for 12 rounds well you can see the mean bend in this right thing. well to make it ambidextrous well then I would have to remove the top put the top back on and then now I can. Now it's ambidextrous. Plus, you'd have to put a belt loop on the other side. Yeah, too. and a belt loop on the other side. Well, you can see how kludgy this whole thing is. <laughs> yeah. Right. And 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 really, in re the reality of it is, once you get past that ten round mark, there, it's hard to get away from that bend. And at the, at that point, I think if um, if pe if the market really accepts our, uh, the gunner's mate and people really like it, and there ends up being a demand. Yeah, maybe we can make something with higher capacity, but at that point we'd probably have to go to a drum. Ah. And make it a drum with a with a side load feature that's that's easy to unload. Okay. And then that would help satisfy the guys that are shooting trap or the people that really want want to carry like twenty five rounds. Yeah, right. I just noticed too you can there's a belt clip here, you can clip it on your belt, but you could probably also clip it to a chest rig and then that way if you, if you're if your shotgun's up, you need to load, you could probably just you won't even have to take your eyes off the target. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So yeah, you're you're right in that it's not a, a three gun competition speed loader. Right. But for for the most vast majority of the people with the shot with a shotgun, they don't need that. Yeah, exactly. So, I'm just thinking immediately mm -hmm. for for hunting, like duck hunting or something like that. You know, if you have to get up and move away, you know, you can just grab that. Plus, I'd use those elastic loops, and they wear out really quick. Yep. Plus they. Uh, it, you you kind of get like stuck on them and stuff, and they always. I've even had some wear out so much that the shells fall through. Oh, so. oh yeah, yeah, exactly. You're walking nothing worse than like you're walking out to your duck blind or walking somewhere uh, out in the woods, and and you do like a little trip over a stick or something, and all <laughs> you fall down, you get up, and there's a few shells laying there. Right, right. <laughs> you, you can't have that. Is there going to be different widths for different lengths? Or are you going to be able to hold two and three quarter and three inch? And this this prototype here that in my hand is is for the three inch. Okay. But what we discovered in working with that, if we try to use it with a two and three quarter as well, mm -hmm. we get a lot of back and forth motion in there okay. as, as the shells start going in. Right. And it can't reliably feed out. Okay. We don't get that reliable feed. And to try to center them in the center with some kind of device within in here then negates the ability to put in a three inch. Okay. So what we've had to do is I've, I've gone out into the uh, gun community and, and talked to a bunch of people and did an online survey is the vast majority of people use two and three quarters. So for, for uh, the crowdfunding campaign is we're going to introduce the version in two and three quarters. Oh, okay. So that'll be the initial is the two and three quarters. Yeah. Okay. So the two and three quarters. And then that, that also brings the width down as people can, you can see here is it'll bring the width down quite a bit and, and lower the overall profile of, of the of the device. Oh, okay. So it'll remove some of the bulk. Also, if you go online, you'll see and go to the campaign, you'll see some drawings and you'll you'll notice that we've rounded the corners and we've done other things to reduce the bulk. Again, this is a prototype. This is 3D printed. Right. It's just a rough prototype to kind yeah. of give you an idea. Exactly. What we've done basically, the operation of this is that... Um, like like a magazine, there's a follower in there and there's a spring, but we have the, the two fingers at the top that, that hold it in place. Right. Um, the, again, this is a prototype. Our, our next iteration that we're going to have is we're building up this little area here to help with, with better retention of the round. Okay. Um, but 
what it allows you to do then is just come in and if you see that on the back there's a little bit of area here for the thumb sweep and yep. we've made that we've made that large so that you know, whether you have a big fat thumb or if you're wearing gloves it'll fit in there and you can get your round out oh perfect wearing gloves that's yeah that's good you know hunters and stuff it's not exactly warm when you're duck hunting and stuff yeah so, yeah. yeah so if you have to do a reload with your gloves on you're not like shucking your gloves to try to get a reload going. plus even with a glove i mean you think about the uh like the elastic stuff you can't really get a, a good feel but right there you just know you swipe your thumb you have a round so. yeah so it's a you're, you're pulling rounds from the same place every time and you can get your groove on and you're in and get your uh reloading faster if you're doing the same motion and get that muscle memory going every time very cool but 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 um it's pretty simple uh all we have to do is just put a round in put the next round in just like loading a magazine yeah and it's just straight down yep and you just straight down and the rounds all fit in and then when you want round out you just pull the round out and next one or if you're like a guy that hey i need two rounds at a time you can just two rounds yeah. simple enough yeah very cool so if people want to find out more information about this or about strike car where where can they get a hold of you where can they go online or uh they can go online uh they i'm, I'm running that indiegogo campaign but the url for the indiegogo campaign is about that long right. and, and that'll I, be in the information box below so so but uh, if you want to go to strikehardgear.com that's one word strikehardgear.com uh the, in the banner ad, you'll see a picture of a guy with holding with the device. You click on that; that'll take you over there. Okay. Or if uh, you go to ammo-boss.com, go there. You'll find links there as well. Okay. Cool. And all that information will be below uh, in the description box. You just have to hit show more. So, uh, thank you very much for for doing this. I appreciate it. It's a yeah. pleasure meeting you and everything else. So, uh, yeah, check them out, guys, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Take it easy.